U.S. markets closed in positive territory. Stocks rose sharply at the end of the trading day, with the Dow finishing up 369 points, or 2 percent. Stocks in China also bounced back after a five-day slide. The Shanghai Composite Index is up by over 5 percent. Shenzhen climbed about 3.5 percent, and so did Hong Kong's Hang Seng Index. CCTV's Roy Rettenberg has been following the roller coaster ride all week, and he joins us now from our newsroom. A lot of ups and downs the last few days, Roy, and now everyone is uh, ended up. That's right, Elaine. And remember, the markets are still higher now than they were a year ago, year to date. But like a roller coaster, there are dips. And starting a week ago, we saw a drop, and then a further drop, and then Black Monday a few days ago, and now finally a turn for the better. Chinese markets roared back on Thursday after days of decline, a rally that recouped some of the week's losses. This, as local and foreign investors hunting for a bargain, started buying again. It comes after government intervention, a cut in interest rates by China's central bank, and an injection of billions of dollars into the financial system. And on the heels of yet another indication from the U.S. that interest rates in that country would remain unchanged at a historic low. Cheaper money will be available longer. Thursday's positive market performance may be in response to both, or maybe not. There's so much volatility in a market like this that to try to attribute some specific cause uh, to that volatility I think is extremely difficult uh, and not, it really can't be done with any degree of certainty. We can all speculate it might have been this, it might have been that. I think at the end of the day, we don't really know. Still, the optimism in China quickly spread across Asia on Thursday, with markets ending up in Singapore, Taipei, Bangkok, and Jakarta, among others. And in Europe, Germany, France, and Britain's main exchanges all closing up more than 3 percent, with London's stocks seeing their biggest one-day rally since 2011. But some analysts still urge caution. I think the, the valuations in the, in the Shenzhen market in particular are still fairly high, and so we could see further, uh, a further weakening uh, in prices in that market. It doesn't mean that it's warranted on fundamentals, but you know markets typically overshoot, uh, and so we could see a lot more on the downside before we get uh, something closer to a more sustainable level. So Elaine, a sigh of relief on Thursday for many investors, lots of smiles and lots of faces, but that relief is tempered with the knowledge that difficult times may still lie ahead. Roe, the Chinese government has repeatedly insisted that the volatility of the markets don't reflect the health of the economy, but surely they must be relieved to see these markets rally. Absolutely. They say that markets are more about psychology than economic fundamentals, and that appears especially true when it comes to the Chinese exchanges, according to analysts. You know, there's a saying that uh, markets have predicted 15 of the last two recessions, meaning they get it wrong and frequently, but they do reflect how people perceive the economy. And we saw in China when the currency was devalued, individual retail investors panicked because they they thought it was an indication that the economy was in trouble. No doubt Chinese officials are pleased that a rebound might indicate that some of these people now think otherwise. Elaine? All right. Roe Redenberg in our Washington newsroom.